Hello, Cancer, and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach who helps sensitive, self-reflective souls choose growth and a transformation. I am excited to bring you an intuitive message today about your journey this week. I also wanted to do something special for you for the new moon, so I'll be drawing some extra information at the end, so be sure to stick around, around, around all the way to the end. So we're going to look at your inside world and your outside world and how the two worlds connect. The guides are saying right to left. So we've got the fair lilt, prince of cups, star, wow. And the four of pentacles, interesting. You know, <laughs> this reading kind of reminds me of We Three Kings. They're all carrying some kind of vessel over to the one, the one thing over here, you know. Uh, I just, that strikes me as funny. Okay, you know, part of me wants to also read this as a three and one rather than just a two and two. So I'm going to do both, both for you, Cancer. So we have the blending of healing and desires going on right now, with starting with our parallels. Our star card is the healing card, and we have this Prince of Cups representing desire, desire that is unfulfilled but really wants to be fulfilled. So any, this kind of goes on different timelines for you. So any desires that were not fulfilled in the past that you're still wounded about, this is a time of healing for them. But I also feel that whatever happens for you and to you this week is about bringing that idea of healing and desires together. What that means is if you are desiring something from a wound in order to fill a wound or make up for a wound, compensate a wound, you're actually desiring something that's very different than what your soul actually wants. Because we can't undo the trauma by trying to replace it or trying to attract the right thing, but we can heal and move on and attract something even better that perhaps our soul wants. Our four of pentacles is coming as that long, that desire that you've kept down and hidden for so long, it's finally coming out and it meets all of these energies that just want to add something to it. It really is like we three kings. The star wants to bring healing. The prince of cups wants to bring voice. It wants to celebrate that desire. And this feralilt wants to create some magic, some alchemy where that desire can finally be fulfilled. But again, this is a deep desire coming from, it's coming from a wound. And so rather than the desire fulfilled, we need to shift your desire to, I want to heal this wound. That needs to become the desire. So it's a little bit, it's different and a little blendy. So instead of, you know, I want this thing I've been asking for, it's no, I want to heal the underlying thing in me that is wanting this desire because it's just it's off from what your soul truly wants let me see if i can give you a more concrete example all right <laughs> i'll give you a goofy personal example um i went to a concert the other day with my significant other and there was some dancing in the front and i really wanted to go and dance but i was afraid of being self-conscious I wanted to dance with him, but I was afraid he would say no, so I just didn't ask. And I was really disappointed in myself that I didn't ask. And so later on, <laughs> um, I had had, I, I will confess to you, I'd had a drink at this point, but I said, you know, we should have a slow dance right here in the living room. And that was very, <laughs> it was very awkward and unfulfilling. <laughs> but what you see was happening is I was trying to make up for that desire that I didn't honor. I should have just spoken up and if he didn't want to come with me, I should have just gone. But, um, <laughs> so I didn't honor my desire. And so I desired that slow dance and it still didn't fit my desire. I still was unfulfilled because 
wasn't really about the dancing. It was about the loss of my voice, that I didn't use my voice and stand up for what I wanted. So that's what we're talking about. It's not the desire, it's the underlying need that is causing you to have this desire that you need to ask for healing from. And then you'll find the desire is free then to be creative rather than palliative. Okay, now I also want to speak about intuition because intuition is very high on all three cards here. We have the sun and the moon in Cancer, which is your sign, Cancer, you know that. And then the new moon is also in Cancer. So a lot of heightened intuition, a lot of heightened sensitivity. So Cancer, information that comes through for you at this time, pay a lot of attention to it. I think you will be getting, hang on, let me just ask. It feels like you're just going to be getting floods and floods of information about people in your world, people in the world, yourself. It's, it feels like just this outpouring of intuition. So in the midst of this, it's important to stay grounded. You notice, except for our prince, everyone is, is very well grounded. I think that's your four of pentacles as well. So make sure to stay connected to your body, connected to the here and now. Be present and ask what is mine and what is theirs? Is this mine or is this someone else's? Because it's like you're a sponge, like the little crab has come out of the shell and it's just walking around the, the ocean. You're completely exposed right now. That's how much information is coming in. So this is good, you know, I feel like this is all beneficial information. It's going to open you up to that healing space, but just be aware that you're going to be picking up more than, than usual this week especially. Okay, speaking of that new moon, that lovely new moon, let's look at what you are releasing and what you are embracing. Queen of Wands, okay, complete opposite of all that, fire, but this is intuition in action, intuition in motion. The Queen of Wands is this very intuitive but practical energy that knows how to act and express itself in the world. So queen, if I had had more of that queen of wands energy, I would have said, hey, I want to go dance and I would have just pulled him along with me. That's the kind of energy, you know. So this is the energy that will help you fulfill those desires. Now, at the same time, I ask what you're releasing. And what you're releasing is the impulsivity that can come with that fire energy. So just acting out because you're reactive or you're feeling stressed or pushed, that's a different feeling than intuition. And like we talked about before, you're gonna have so much intuition coming your direction that when that intuition tells you to take an action, that's the time. So it's responding to that intuition rather than the actual circumstance in your world. Circumstances and people in your world cause reactivity, but intuition causes connectivity and it actually gives birth to the correct action and the correct way, the best way, the most beneficial way for you to be in the next moment is through your intuitive action. Okay, Cancer, thanks so much for sharing your time and energy with me. If you are ready to dive deep and even deeper, please check out my intuitive readings and soul guidance coaching on soulguidancewithadriana.com. As an extra, I uploaded some new photos yesterday that I had taken myself. So no stock photos. I'd love for you to check it out and let me know what you think. I look forward to seeing you next time right here, Cancer.